Hey everyone, uh, my name is Spencer Nicosi and I'm a recent grad of Art Center. Uh, I've been in this room and spoken many times, so I'm like happy to be here and comfortable to be here. Um, I graduated uh, in product design, and when I was a student, I had a student project that I want to tell you a little bit about. Um, this project turned into a company, but before I get into that, um, it all started with uh, a field trip to the American Military Museum. And for one of my classes um, f with Norm Sherman, we would go to these museums and we would observe all the artifacts in the museum. And we would draw the things that we would see. This is where I learned how to draw. And simultaneously, uh, I had a, another class where I was asked to um, design a waterproof and sustainable backpack. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to solve this problem because all the materials that I was looking at, there, there wasn't like the right answer. And when I was at the military museum, I saw this military truck tarp and the light bulb went off. I knew at that point that I could make a sustainable backpack that was waterproof and indestructible out of this material. And this led me on a journey that uh, has taken now three years. This project's been going on for three years. So um, I convinced the curator of the museum to get me access to this material. And it wasn't an easy thing to do. I had to like basically plead him to give me access to this special material that I had never seen before. And I basically unfolded it on my lawn. And this is like a huge 18-foot truck tarp. And it's special. You know, it was dirty. It has been through battle. It was like repurposed and, you know, had all of these battle scars on it. And I became really intimate with this material. <laughs> I wanted to learn how to make a backpack or a messenger bag. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, but I had some skills from Art Center and encouragement from Art Center. So I started cutting up the material and figuring out basically how it would fit on my body. And at the time, uh, I got in touch with um, a mentor who started um, one of my favorite companies, a very, very successful backpack company. And I said, hey, I want to make a backpack. What do I do? And he said, buy a sewing machine. And I was like, nah, I'm a designer. I just want to sketch some stuff and uh, hand it off to someone else to do all the work for me. And he said, well, I'm not going to teach you unless you, you, you buy a sewing machine and build it yourself. And so it was at that point that I realized that either I take a risk and I spend $1,500 on a sewing machine and I've never sewn a day in my life and I go for it or I take the traditional designer route um, and, or product designer route and give it to someone else to do. And so I decided to buy a sewing machine and the sewing machine arrived and I didn't even know how to use it. I'd never sewed a stitch in my life. And I spent long nights trying to figure this thing out. And in a relatively short period of time, uh, I started assembling pieces to a bag that I wanted to make for myself. I added zippers, I added handles. I, sa I started sourcing amazing buckles, parts and pieces. Started asking friends to help me with um, silk screening logos and labels. And, and the material is very hard to, uh, to get access to, so I had to strategically cut it up in order to make certain products. And in, in not too long, I made my first messenger bag. And it was like the most gratifying feeling to be able to come up with an idea um, and basically execute it um, in my own living room, you know, let alone coming to school and making it here. So that was like one of the first times I realized that, you know, there's a lot of power with, with ideas. And even though this is a simple bag, it meant a lot to me to be able to take it and make it happen. And with these dreams, being able to take dreams and make them happen is something that I'm really fond of. And what I'd like to do uh, now with some music, which is kind of a different, different thing, is uh, we'd like to play a little music for you guys. And I want to encourage you guys to dream and think about the dreams that you guys have and what you can do to actually execute upon them. Because everyone has an idea that they want to do that's personal. And it's the hardest thing is to be encouraged to go, af go after that dream. And I've been f so fortunate to be surrounded by amazing people in my life who've been uh, completely supportive of my dreams. And I want to create, uh, hopefully, a setting for you guys. So sit back, chill out. You know, you don't have to worry about doing anything. Just think about the dreams that you have and what the next step is for you to, to create them. So.